While government is concerned about the rate of reinfections, the health minister says South Africans can rest assured that the current vaccines do offer protection against the highly transmissible Omicron variant. Government is therefore urging those who've not yet vaccinated to do so uh, to cushion themselves against the fourth wave. And ENCA reporter Heidi Jokos has been following the story for us and she joins us now live. Heidi, of course, a lot of people are concerned about uh, the rapid race, uh, rate rather at which uh, the uh, transmissibility is happening. Tell us more about Omicron and how transmissible it is. Yes, Masako, we do know it's highly transmissible, possibly even more than what Delta was. Previously, we heard how highly transmissible Delta was. And this time around, according to the Department of Health and the Health Minister, Dr. Joe Pahla, we do know that uh, you, if you catch Omicron, you could possibly infect up to three people. So that is a huge concern for the department. Uh, what is comforting, though, is the fact that when people are infected with Omicron and have been vaccinated, it's a lot milder than um, what we previously saw with other waves. But uh, the big concern is hospitalizations and what the numbers tell us. Uh, we do understand that um, hospitalization is between 20 to 39 year olds, where previously it was the older generation that was being hospitalized because they had not been vaccinated. So um, reinfection is a big problem. Many people were wondering whether or not they could be reinfected if they've had previous variants, such as the beta variant and uh, the delta variant. But we do understand that um, reinfection is very much possible. You can get Omicron if you've had previous uh, variants. But again, the comfort lies in the fact that it's not too serious and uh, what they've been able to pick up is mild infection. But let's listen to the health minister. The issue of infection of children, let me just touch on that. During the three-week period from 14 November to 4 December, there has been an increase in admission of children under five years. This has been observed in the 20 metro hospitals where the early resurgence has occurred. Children 18 years and younger compared to uh, compared comprised 21% of admissions during the early period. However, this pattern has changed over, over the time, over uh, the subsequent time uh, from the early days. And the proportion of admissions in children less than five years uh, in total admissions has decreased to 14%, it was 21, then 14% in week 46, and currently it's even uh, lower at eight percent so this was seemed to have been the, the phenomenon early but it has now changed to more adults getting infected so the minister telling us a little bit heidi about uh, you know how it's affecting children anything else he said uh, with regards to that uh, the trend of seeing more children get sick Yes, so uh, what uh, they've been able to pick up, Masako, in the first three weeks after Omicron was identified, they saw quite a worrying trend with 11% of hospitalizations being under the age of uh, 19 and also under the age of five. But that trend seems to have shifted a little uh, with the fact that we do know those under the age of, um, or those between the age of 20 and 39 are being hospitalized here. Again, um, what the Department of Health has been able to pick up is the fact that Omicron is a lot more transmissible, but uh, it's not as severe as what we saw with um, Delta. And what's also interesting here, Masejo, is that uh, when somebody is hospitalized, uh, it's not as severe as previously experienced during the second and third wave. So this time around, you will have somebody hospitalized that won't necessarily need oxygen or a ventilator as previously picked up. And if they are hospitalized, it's not such a long stay where previously we saw people being hospitalized for a long period of time. Something else to also note is um, the fact that uh, hospitalizations are on the increase, um, but not as what we saw in previous waves. But if you look at the statistics yesterday from the NICD, you're finding that um, over 400 people were admitted into hospital. But what? how serious are those 400 people? You know, how seriously are they sick? And uh, the Department of Health saying it's still too early to tell, but all indications at the moment show that it's not as serious. But let's listen to the health minister once again on how highly transmissible Omicron is. Now, what also shows that it is uh, highly transmissible is that the reproductive number of the virus, which shows how many people are likely to be infected by one person, 
is currently 2.5, which is higher than it was at any prior point in the pandemic. So whether we speak about the alpha, the beta, the delta, none of them had even reached anywhere close to two in terms of the reproductive rate. Now the Omicron has passed two and is now at 2.5. The severity, in terms of the severity of uh, disease, this one is also not yet clear with the Omicron, whether it causes more severe disease or if it uh, leads uh, to um, even uh, people uh, admitted to ICU and death. As, as if you compare it with the, the, different, the previous variants, Heidi, tell us more about the booster shots. I think a lot of people are quite nervous about this. Besides the ages 12 to 17, there are people who are saying, oh my goodness, do I have to go through this again? Yes, Ms. Echo, I mean, just the thoughts of having that needle in my arm again, <laughs> it's just <laughs> quite overwhelming. But um, the Department of Health is encouraging this. We can just start off with those aged between 12 and 17 years old. Uh, we do know that it's been approved by SAPRA uh, that they will be able to get a second Pfizer shot. Previously, they could only get one Pfizer shot. They were worried about the dots coming through, that it could cause heart inflammation, uh, especially in men if they got two jabs. But uh, we do know that uh, the dots are showing that it's rather safe to get a second Pfizer shot. So this will be called the primary vaccination for those between the ages of 12 to 17. You can go 42 days after you've received your first Pfizer jab, those who are um, uh, those the adult population rather, they can go six months after they've received their second Pfizer shot. This will be called the booster shot. So those, especially in vulnerable age groups, those 60 and above who got their shots a lot earlier on in the year, um, you know, there's a concern that they need much more protection, especially because we don't know how serious Omicron is at this stage. They can go as of the 28th of December. Those will be the first in line to get their booster shots. The Department of Health, of course, encouraging this, saying that uh, the data coming out shows that booster shots provide even more protection, which is exactly what we need at this stage. Let's listen to the Deputy Director General on this. So Pfizer boosters, um, maybe just to emphasize that boosters are different from additional doses. We've spoken before about additional doses. And the additional doses are given after 28 days or more to uh, people who are immune compromised, specific conditions that are listed and they're on the website of the department where the clinician then refers those people to the vaccination program for a third primary dose. Now, this is different. This is where after a longer period of six months after the second primary dose, the population is uh, losing some immunity, and there's some quite good evidence that we all do our uh, antibodies do wane after that period. We may still have cellular immunity, and you're going to hear a more detailed presentation about this later. But we on the uh, SAPRA, which is our regulator, has now said that they find that it is safe and it is appropriate to provide booster doses six months after the second primary dose. Now, for us, that means that the first qualifiers for booster doses in South Africa will be after the 28th of December, because that is six months from the time the first people got their second dose. All right, Hadi Jokos on that story. Let's leave it there for now.